it's me ex canadensis and for today's video we are going to be doing a rainbow high doll collection update for early 2022 i have every doll that was released up to mid february of 2022 in america so i am missing four of the junior high rainbow high dolls and i'm missing one of the pacific coast rainbow high dolls that aren't widely available in america just yet and yeah, I'm really excited to share these with you guys, and before we get started, I just want to say that I'm an adult, and I've had to work many odd jobs to get all these dolls, and I'm very grateful to have them, and I've bought a lot of them on clearance, and I'll show you that later. Um, I absolutely love Rainbow High. It's definitely, like, one of my favorite lines to collect, and they make me really happy. I think they're absolutely beautiful, and I've also been collecting since the day that these hit stores in America, so I've had time to pick them up. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So we'll be starting over here, and this is a pretty notable departure from my previous Rainbow High displays. I really wanted to have them displayed in rainbow order with the, like, my favorite or the original of each character on the rainbow, and then any others, like, Winter Break could be displayed separately, but that just became too much because there were so many Rainbow High dolls that I could not make my rainbow anymore because I just don't have, like, 20 feet of space to display them, unfortunately. That would be cool, though, but I kind of like having them closer together like this. This shelf is probably my least favorite. Well, these two shelves actually are my least favorite in my entire display just because they're so crowded. So I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'm hopefully going to be moving relatively soon. So I'll be able to have a better display in my future space, but I'm very grateful to have the display that I have. And as you can see, I have like a lot of dolls in the stall room. So um, the fact that I can fit all these rainbow high dolls at all is really great. So Let's get started. First, we have Series 1. So these are the original release of Series 1, and I do have a video on this, but they changed quite a bit. They used to be really, really shiny. I got these in July of 2020. So we have Ruby Anderson, Poppy Rowan, Sunny Madison, Jade Hunter, Skylar Bradshaw, and Violet Willow, all from Series 1. And then these two are also from Series 1, but they were like the special releases for Series 1. So this is Amaya Rain when she had white hair. And then this is Avery from her, like, fashion closet set, and her hair is not playing nice right now. Not the biggest fan of this wig, but she's cute. She's a cute doll. I actually have another of her that I used to display in the pink wig, but I took her down, so we'll see her later. Moving over, these are, like, my special edition dolls. These are just here because I want them in front. But I don't have room right now because these are overhanging, so they're here for now. But these are the Rainbow Junior High dolls of Violet and Skylar, who I just unboxed and reviewed yesterday. They're so cute. And they actually can sit a lot better than the, the like, normal Rainbow High dolls, so it works to have them sitting, and they're super cute. And then up here are the special edition dolls. In theory, I would like to have, like, Kaya with Series 2 and stuff, but this kind of works because these are, like, the special release ones. And Lily doesn't fit anywhere else. These are also a special release, but I put them there because I didn't have room is the honest reason. And it's like cute. Like they would love to be there. Um, so we have Jet Dawson here. This is a custom of Lily Chang and in the back is a boxed Lily Chang, the numbered boxed version. Um, and this one I'm not going to be keeping. I'm going to be sending her to my friend because um, she's a custom made of my friend. So you can see she has green in her hair and I took out all of the orange and tinsel in her hair just to make her look more like my friend who tends to have orange, or sorry, who tends to have green hair. And then this is me, and this was a custom that was actually made for me for Christmas by Ever After High Loves, and I love this doll so much. She's so sweet. So it's kind of fun to have her on display with the, the doll of my friend, but the doll of my friend is going to be leaving soon, but for now it makes sense. And as you can see, I'm a big Winx fan. Um, <laughs> so I have this really cute Winx shirt on, um, but I don't, have a wink shirt like that in, in person, so I'm kind of jealous. And then this is Kaya Hart. She's my favorite Rainbow High doll, so excuse that her hair is pretty messy. I take her with me every time I go somewhere special, so, you know, she gets she gets a little messed up. But her hair is actually in really good shape, considering, because I haven't recurled it since I took her to Phoenix, and then I took her to another state that I can't tell you. Um, So she's actually, she's been jet-setting, but she still looks great, so... Pretty cool. So these two are like travel buddies because they come with me everywhere now. So that is shelf number one. Moving down, we have this shelf, which is kind of a mess. So it's winter break on one side and then some customs and then some redresses. It's basically just dolls that didn't fit anywhere else. And winter break takes up a lot of space because they have the big snowboards. So this was kind of the only place that they fit. And then over here, I wanted to make sure I don't forget to mention her. That's my giant size of Maya doll. So she's actually like really, really big. I really love this doll. I think she's so cool. And that's why she's actually kind of separated. So she used to actually be here and all these dolls would sit in front of her, but I kept grabbing her and taking her down 
and I would have to mess up all these dolls and pull all these dolls down and then put them back up and it was such a hassle so now she's there I don't like that she's not on prominent display but I really love that doll so I'm just grabbing her all the time so I kind of need to have her somewhere that she's easily accessible in the future I'll have her sitting on a shelf but she won't have a bunch of dolls in front of her that's the ideal Alrighty, so starting up here with winter break, we have, they're just the series one girls again, so bam, bam. We have Ruby, Poppy, Sunny, and these are their first outfits. Some of them I changed around a little bit. Um, and then Jade, Skylar, and Violet. Yeah, these are pretty cool. I'd love to have them on a more interesting display, like, that makes more sense than than them than them just standing here on their winter gear, but for now this is what it's like. And I put Sunny and Violet have traded their skis around because in the episode they do that and I thought it was really cute. And you'll notice that I always do this with these two. I always kind of have them together because they're friends and it's fun. And I have a variant of winter break Violet that I'll show you guys later. Variant just means they changed the paint for whatever reason or maybe different factories used a different paint. So this is the way prettier one in my opinion, but I have the other one too. And then over here, well, we'll start here. These are my winter break redresses. I used to have dolls wearing each of these outfits, but then I kept taking pieces of their outfits. For example, there's Jade's skirt. So <laughs> I basically took those dolls apart. And because I don't display my second outfit dolls anymore, um, they're mostly not wearing their outfits and they're just in a stock bin. But these are the ones that have not been touched yet. So these are Violet, Poppy, and Ruby. And that just means I didn't want to use these outfits for anything. That's all that happened here. Um, and these are really cute. So these two are series one, and then this one is cheer that I just rubbed the markings off of her. Yeah, I actually think she fits that outfit really well. These two are just kind of like, eh, it kind of works, whatever. But like, she looks like she was made for that outfit. Anyway, up here are some customs. My customs are not in the best condition right now because they used to all have hairstyles, right? But their rubber bands popped. So that's just something that happens in different conditions it's annoying um so that's why she doesn't have she used to have high ponytail she used to have a high ponytail yeah that's kind of what's going on here so starting over here we have Amala um her outfit is so so ugly but I know she has potential I just need to do a better outfit for her and then this one did I name her oh yeah your name is Serafina um she actually has prototype Jet Dawson eyes so if you look she has those stars in her eyes which Jet Dawson was intended to have, but they canceled that for some reason. So now she has just normal stars and not sequins. So that's kind of fun. I didn't want to just like have eyes on display, so I put them in that doll. Um, and these are all reroutes, so that's why the colors are so nice. They're not um, dyed hair customs. Dyed hair customs are like much easier and faster, and you can do a lot more of them. But reroutes, like you get the exact color that you want. So and I just like doing them. They're very very relaxing to me. And she's wearing Jet's second outfit. Well, Jet's, like, dress that she made. This is Amber. She was my second custom, I feel like. Um, yeah, my first custom isn't on display, so this was my second custom. And she, oh, well, she was Sunny. She was Karma. She was also Sunny. Sunny's my favorite to do customs with, so I actually have a bunch of Sunnies that are, are just waiting to be customized. And I want to change her eye color. I feel like I'm not on board with it, but she actually has split color hair. You can't really tell, but she has blue underneath. Doesn't show too well. And it's, like acetate hair <laughs> um so it's not the best but it's textured which I really like because I boiled it and permanently damaged it so it's like has this interesting texture to it so I actually really like her yeah and then this is my favorite one this is Katrine so this is the custom that I think I just did the best job on I think she's adorable so she has black saran hair and green nylon hair pretty sure that's saran anyway um and I just love her so much and she is a crystal custom with Jade's eyes I just, her outfit and everything came together really nicely. I really, really like that doll. And then back here is Dolce? Yeah, that's Dolce. Sorry, I was like, wait, Lena's my mint one. So this is Dolce. She's a violet and she has like a stain on her forehead. So I need to cut bangs, but I'm scared to do it. Um, And she was like my fourth custom, I think. Um, She and Lena, I can't figure out what I'm going to do with. So that's kind of why she's in the back there. But she has blue and pink swirly hair. She tends to be people's favorite of my customs, but I don't really see why. I don't know. She's cute, though. And then this doll I never named. Um, but originally she was gonna have, like, a deco den, like, decor kawaii. But I couldn't, I could not get it to, like, match and work. I'm just not super amazing at styling or anything. 
and she actually has a partial repaint so I repainted her makeup she has I just use watercolor pencils to like fill it in so it's not perfect but she like I actually used paint and I'm actually pretty proud of how that turned out and she has Bella's eyes I really like her she's so cool um, she was just a heart, like, I love the doll herself, but I couldn't figure out an outfit for her, and it was driving me crazy. And then this is Leah, who was made for me by Brad's Dot Pack, and she just surprised me with her. So she is a cheer violet with dyed hair, I believe, and it's dyed to be pink. And I really like this dyed look, because it gives her, like, an ombre effect, and I think it's really interesting. And she has these damaged eyes, which are my favorite. Oh my gosh, I've been really wanting a doll with damaged eyes, so I was so excited when she arrived to me in my P.O. box as a total surprise, and she's wearing Big Wigs outfit. She's so cool. I really, really love that doll. So that is shelf number two. We were over here, and now we're moving over and up to the shelf, and this is mainly a playset display, and I've kind of littered dolls around. Other Well, these dolls go to the playset, and then these dolls are others that I've kind of tried to fit into this display, and I, I'll, I'll explain the story behind this. Also, these came with some rainbow high tins. I do have a video on those. I love these, and because my shelves are magnetic, I was able to display them here. I lost the ruby head when it fell, and I picked it. I didn't pick it up immediately, and now it's just gone. I do not know where it is, so. Oops. Anyways, I really hope rainbow high does more playsets like this. They do take up a lot of space, but they're so much fun to display your dolls in. So, first we'll start here. So, this is the Pacific Coast High Beach Club playset, and these are the Pacific Coast dolls. I'm missing Finn. That's the one, like, main series rainbow high doll that I'm missing right now. And I will get him, it's just that he hasn't showed up in stores for near me yet. So over here we have Bella, so this is the second Bella doll that they've made, and she is the Pacific Coast one. And then this is Simone. I just opened her the other day and I love her, she's so cute, I can't wait to do her hair. Back here is Phaedra. I, I really want to get more doll or another doll back there sitting with her, I feel bad that she's all alone. because. These three are, or she's kind of supposed to be talking to her, or like these three should be talking, but because I want them all facing the front, it doesn't really look that way, unfortunately. Here is Margot. I love Margot. She's supposed to look like she's swimming, so sorry that is a weird pose. She's meant to look like she's swimming and like leaning against the side of the pool. And then there's Hallie, who I redressed, and Harper. <clears throat> And then I kind of squished these two over so that I could fit these two, because don't you feel like they, they, they would just want to be there, you know? They're like, we're going to Pacific Coast High, we want to be on the show, and then they would just show up. So these are the twins. These are not the main looks for the twins, of course, so this one I cut the sleeves off of, and I actually really like it. I didn't cut them, I like seam ripped them off. I don't know, it's interesting. I think the puffy sleeves do look better, though. And these two have bangs. I bought them on Mercari, which is where I get a lot of my doubles. I either get them in stores when they're on clearance or I get them on Mercari. I'll put a link in the description to Mercari. It's just like an online shopping website for America. That's like, well, <laughs> the link that I'm sharing with you is the American one specifically. Um, And the Mercari cut seller like cut bangs on them and I love it. So she has kind of like poofy side swept bangs and she has these blunt little bit short bangs and I really really like these two. But I do have alternatives that don't have their bangs cut. Yeah, that's Holly and Laurel. Laurel's one of my all-time favorite rainbow head dolls, and I love her with bangs, too. <laughs> and then over here are the rockers. So we have Carmen, Vanessa, and Lyric. Lyric's looking a little sweaty over here, but that works for her, like, rocker vibe. And, okay, the story... So they're just here because they want to be here. They are performing a concert for these girls. Because I don't think they go to class at Pacific Coast High, to be honest. They just hang out in the pool. Which I would do, too, if I had a... If I had, like, a beach club on campus, I would be all over this. So that's the shelf. This is the shelf with the least amount of dolls, but it's really cute and fun for me. And, oh, back here, Aloza MH surprised me with this in my P.O. box. And it's a picture of a bunch of his restyles. And I love his restyles, so this was so cool. Look at that Daphne with the bangs. So cute. I love all of his dolls with bangs so much, and his pictures are amazing. I will link his channel in the description as well. Highly recommend checking him out. I think he also did a Rainbow High Collection video recently. I know he did an OMG one. Anyway, I binge watched a bunch of his videos the other day, but love his channel. I highly recommend his channel. Moving on up, we have the final Rainbow High doll shelf, but this is not the end of the story. I have so many Rainbow High dolls, you'll see. Um, and this is the one with the most dolls on it. Um, so this is Series 2, Series 3, and Cheer, and then also Slumber Party. So we're going to start over here. First is Cheer. I feel so bad about how cramped they are. But these are the original release Cheer dolls, which is actually detrimental because they don't have articulated necks. 
these two have articulated necks or no never mind i have these two with articulated necks um but they were kind of body swapped and i got them on mercari i'll show you them later um but i have ruby poppy sunny jade skylar and violet and this violet is the original release that doesn't have purple in her eyes so you see that she has like all blue and i think that's a unique eye color i don't know i haven't really verified but if you look this is my other one she has purple in her eyes so there was a change early in development where they switched her eyes over because for some reason they changed her eye color to just all blue but it's kind of a fun fact i think it's actually just stella's eye color but she did come like that so yeah, if I'd known about the variation, I would have left her in box, but she's cute. I really like her, um, and I really like that blue eye color. I, I just wonder what happened there. It's very interesting. And then moving on down, we have Slumber Party. I love the Slumber Party dolls. So I tried to dress them each in outfits that they could wear to class. I mean, I wear pajama pants to class, to be fair. Not since I started my master's degree, actually. I've been good. But anyway, we've got Marisa, Robin, and Brianna. And I love, 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 love this collection. I know they've been hard to find. In my area, these were the only two for a long time. And my mom ordered her and sent her to me for Christmas, which I'm so grateful for. I love her. Um, and I still haven't gotten to do her hair yet. So it's, um, listen to that crunch. <laughs> Oops. There went another magnet. Yeah, that's the problem with this um, situation with the magnets. They just fall off. But I will fix that. <laughs> I'll get it later. And then here are the Series 2 dolls. These are probably the worst displayed dolls other than the uh, Winter Break dolls because they got this and like they're all crowded, but I'm just happy to have them on display. So we have Maya Series 2 in her cheer outfit. Oh, well, sorry. I, she's meant to be with the cheer dolls. That's why she's in the cheer outfit because I have another Maya Series 2 right there. Um, there's Bella, Amaya, River, Crystal. Here is Stella, who's one of my all-time favorite Rainbow High dolls as well. And her hair looks like that because it fell. I had it in a different hairstyle and it fell out, unfortunately. So I need to fix that, but it was kind of hard to do the hairstyle. So I'm just being lazy. And then over here, we have my Series 3 dolls. All of them have been, like, restyled. Varying degrees of restyling, right? Like, Daria, I didn't change much. <laughs> um, but I love Series 3. This is definitely, definitely my favorite, like, series altogether. I just absolutely love them. Um... Maybe Pacific Coast will take their place, but for now, Series 3 is still holding their spot. So here we have Daphne. I straightened her hair, and I love her 100% more now. And then Daria. I love Daria so much. She's so pretty. And then Cheryl. Uh, this is one of the variants of Cheryl. I do have another one that I will show you guys. And then Gabriella, who has really grown on me. I didn't really like her that much at first, but I really, really, like, she's so interesting. I really like her. She reminds me of Stella. And then Georgia here. I love Georgia. And then this is Emmy, and this is a, I have two of Emmy, and I curled her hair, so she has like a Farrah Fawcett haircut. Unfortunately, I curled this one a little too close to the face, so it kind of sits over her eye, but yeah. So that is my full Rainbow High display. So these are the dolls that I have on display at all times. Um, and it's just because I moved into this doll room, and it's a much smaller space, so I don't have as much room for the Rainbow High dolls, but... You'll see I have a ton of huge stuff to still show you guys, so don't go anywhere yet. Next, we're going to be moving on and looking at my inbox collection, as well as my store Here's displays. the prize of my... Did you just turn away to yawn? Here's the prize of my Rainbow High doll collection. This is Leggy. Um, anyway, she's sitting in front of my Rainbow High store display and Rainbow High school. These are my living room right now because I had to move out of my basement, which is where all my doll stuff was. So, unfortunately, this is here. It's kind of awkward, but it's beautiful. So I just kind of stacked all my box dolls up here. I used to have a lot more box dolls than this, um, but I unboxed a lot of them to do like restyles and stuff. Um, just having fun with them. I'm not like particularly trying to collect in box, but you know, if I find them on sale, I will buy them in box and I love them. So yeah, first, <laughs> this is an elephant in the room, kind of. Um, I actually received this as PR from Rainbow High. So this is a card from the creators of Rainbow High. But they it sent really, really, really late. Like, it didn't arrive until well after I was supposed to do it. Because it was supposed to be for Christmas. I was supposed to advertise it for Christmas. But it didn't arrive until, like, the week before Christmas. And I did not have time to put a video together for it. So, now it's here. But I just have to disclose that this was sent to me for free by MGA. I do have the car um, elsewhere in my home right now. But that that is an inbox one. Um, up here, we have Georgia from Series 3. Sunny from the second release. Kaya. I bought three Kaya dolls in box thinking that they were the variant because there is a lip paint variant. None of them were, so it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> um, so that's why I have her. Um, Daria. Amaya. Cheer Jade, who I just got the other day, and you can see the clearance sticker. I haven't taken it off yet. 
um because i like to buy these on clearance like all of these were like nine dollars each these series these series one second release dolls this actually might be a first release now that i look at her i didn't really pay attention um, you know, I just bought them because they were on sale and I was going to make customs with them. But then I was like, wait, I can leave them in box. And then I have an inbox collection. Um, and then here's Violet, Jade, and Ruby. And then I just have a couple of pieces of merch here. I have more merch than this, but right now it's like stored away. But this is the stuff that was accessible to me. So these are two of the journals that they did. This is like an art set that they did around Christmas. And then this I just got. These are these tins. And this is all the stuff that comes with the tins. Um, and they're for each character. And each one comes with like merch that's pertinent to the characters so like this came with the ruby one pretty cute and then down here oh <laughs> i totally forgot to mention this is the store display for cheer so if you ever like went to walmart when these dolls were in stores you might have seen this i managed to get one um from walmart i just asked the employees and thankfully they said i could have it um and i mentioned that i don't have my dolls arranged in rainbow order anymore i used to have them arranged in rainbow order on here but the weight on top of it actually caused it to bow in a little bit and i didn't want to damage the display anymore so that's why they're not on it anymore that's what's going on moving down we have avery and ruby who i actually i didn't show her on video yet i got her literally yesterday for 15 dollars, so that was a score i'm um, in the closet place that doesn't fit on my shelves so it's just here and then this is jet dawson who I got for like $15, I think. And then this is the winter break store display. These didn't actually show up in stores. They were just kind of in the back. I mean, some stores got them, but I'd never saw one in stores. Um, and my friend, Drops of Indigo, actually sent this to me. I just had to pay shipping and I'm so grateful because I was really sad that I was gonna miss out on this display. Um, and I hope they do more displays. The only like big display that I'm missing right now is the series two display. I never saw it in person once, so. I just didn't have the chance. And then over here, you can see my mermaid high display that I never showed on camera. I got that from Walmart. Um, and <laughs> it's just on top of the dorm house playset, which is kind of a disaster, unfortunately, because it's in my living room. Um, and I like to like put my dolls in it when I come into my living room with them. But unfortunately, it's not on display, but <laughs> eventually it will be. It's just that, again, we, they were everything was in my basement where it had tons of space and it was perfect, but I, I had to move out of the basement. So um, that's why everything's upstairs. Uh, so yeah. Now we're going to move on to my out-of-box doubles, and there's a lot of them. This is where I keep my extras, and that doesn't mean I don't like these dolls or I don't want them in my life. It's just that I don't have room to display them right now, so I keep them in this bin. Um, in an ideal world, they will all be on display, but for now I just can't, so that's why they're in here. Um, a lot of them, or some of them won't have eyes or will have like their paint messed up. It's because they're customs or something. And I'll explain for all of them, like, where they came from and stuff, because I do really like all of these dolls. I just wanted to disclaim that, like, no, these aren't ones that I'm, like, selling or getting rid of. They're just here because I don't have space yet for them. Okay? And I kind of got into this earlier, but the reason a lot of them aren't wearing full outfits like they used to and a lot of them are nude is because, simply, they're not on display, so I would take their outfit pieces to put on other dolls when I did restyles. So, a lot of them don't have their outfits on. Anyway, let's get started. So, first we have this cheer poppy doll who I gave bangs. They're not the best, but this is my first time cutting successful bangs on a rainbow high doll. Um, and I like them. I think she's cute. Um, and I removed her little cheer markings. I would like to have a full set of cheer dolls without the cheer markings. And I found her at a thrift store. So that was really exciting. And then this is another doll that I found at a thrift store, actually. This is a original release series one Skylar doll. And I didn't want to cut her hair or anything because she's an original release and stuff. Not that they're worth anymore or anything, but I just think they're really cool. And I didn't think to collect any in box while they were out like this. And I just did her hair in a little updo and her outfit's kind of a disaster, but she's cute. Next is an extra Kaya heart doll. I really, really love Kaya. So I really wanted to like do an elaborate restyle on her, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. And it's really hard because I really love her eye color and she's the only one who has it. So I wanted to use it for a custom, but I won't because I want to leave Kaya alone because she's my favorite. And she's my only double of Kaya that's out of the box. And no, I don't have the lip variant of Kaya. I really, really want her, but I can't, I can't, I never found her. Unfortunately, this is some extra stuff that I just put in here. Um, I really, really want that extra lip variant, but I can't find her, unfortunately. So this is, um, basically it's just a slightly different color of lip. It's not that much, but, um, anyway, Kaya's, Kaya's my girl. I love her. Next we have Emmy. So this is my second Emmy doll. When Emmy came out, she was so hard to find for me. Um, certain Series 3 dolls just didn't come out in certain areas, and my area was Emmy. And I found her when I went on a trip to New York City to go to a toy PR event, so that was pretty cool. So I bought two of them while I was there, because um, I found her somewhere in, like, the, in a random city in Pennsylvania, I think, or was she in New Jersey? 
think I got Cheryl in New Jersey and this doll in Pennsylvania. Um, but yeah, she's just my second one. I really want them both on display because I mean specifically her, 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 both of her outfits as they are are just perfect. I really, really love her. And we're going to start to get it to get to the territory where the hair is a little messed up just because they're in the spin. Um, next are my original Holly and Laurel dolls. I feel really bad about their hair. Um, I took them to another state with me as well. So their hair is really messy. Um, but I'm not worried about it because I can just fix it. But this is my original Holly doll. She's really cute. And then Laurel is my favorite one. So she's in a lot worse condition. Not bad condition, like she's not ruined or anything, but it's just that you see like her hair is not it. Um, so this is Laurel. She's so, so pretty. She's my favorite. I love her. And the true reason that they're not on display and those ones with bangs are is because these ones have their hair kind of messed up and I'm not super confident with curling doll hair. So anyway, I will be fixing them up though. Um, oh, no, her bangs. Okay, I gotta fix those. Um, this is Sunny Cheer, and this is a custom with the modified neck. So she's on the um, winter break body. This isn't the second release or anything, but she's really cute. And she's different from my other release. I mean, sorry, she is probably a second release, but she's not like the later release that came with the articulated neck. Because this is not her body, but she's super cute. And I got her on Mercari for pretty cheap. Next, we have Stella and... I believe I got her on Mercari as well. I bought a bunch of Rainbow High Dolls on Mercari and like at the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021. Um, so that's where a lot of these ones that are in these bins came from. And she, had, she still has her original hairstyle and I'm pretty sure she's identical to my other one. Like she's not a different release, but she's really cute. Here is the original release of um, Winter Break Violet and I do not like this doll. Mine has a really, really major misprint though. So that's part of it. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with her. I will figure it out. Um, she she needs bangs, I guess, but Violet already has bangs generally, so that's kind of... I don't know, this poor girl. Um, she's actually one of the only Rainbow High dolls that I might actually sell, because I think um, somebody else will love her a lot more than me, but I do want to have this variant, so I don't know. She's just... She's in the bin for now, and I'll figure something out. Okay, next. This was a failed attempt at doing bangs. Obviously, this looks a lot worse than it did, but they just never worked. They were just kind of a disaster. So this was my first attempt to cut bangs on a Rainbow High doll. Um, they're only like this because she was in this bin. Um, but yeah, so I think my biggest mistake was that I cut them all the way down to here, and that's not how bangs work, so these never sat right, and it was just kind of... It was a mess, but she could be cute. But she also has this... You see this line... I bought her like that because she was one of the $9 poppies back when Poppy was on clearance. So I wanted to buy her for that price. Um, basically, she's going to be customized. So she's going to be fully rerouted. And that's why I just haven't really worried about her. But whoever I rerouted her into will always need to have bangs because of that mark on her forehead. It's just an unfortunate factory defect, but she's really cute. Next is my variant of Cheryl. And I love Cheryl. And I love both of these. I just, I like the other one with the faded eyebrows a little bit more. Um, the big difference here is that she has darker eyebrows. There are some other differences, but that's the biggest one. I love her too. I really want all these dolls on display, but I can't. Um, this is the second release of Violet. This one is far superior to the original release, in my opinion. I love this doll. Um, and you can see these ones used to be on display in my closet, and that's why they're in my closet playset, and that's why they're wearing, like, different things. We're getting to that area in the bin. Um, and they aren't wearing those anymore because I took them for other dolls. Um, she's super cute. I really like her. So she'll probably, like, I really want, like, a cool outfit for her. I had her in this really, like, dark outfit, and I thought she looked so pretty in it. She had, like, a black shirt and that, um, purple jacket from the closet playset, and she was cool. She's cool. Next is, okay, so this poor doll is a disaster, but this is Lena, and this is one of my, or sorry, yeah, this is Lena. This is my first Rainbow High custom, and Everything went wrong for this poor doll. First of all, I painted the head the wrong color, so you can see this, like, red coming through. It's pink, but it's just dark pink. Um, and her hair, like, I used the wrong type of glue, so it's greasy. Um, and then I wanted to make her better, so I took off her original makeup and was going to draw more on, but I couldn't figure out how to do it, and now she has all these, like, matte spots. I'm going to just completely remake this custom. Um, and she has crystals eyes now, which I like, but she just, she needs to be reborn and I will do it. I'll make her again and I'll keep her eyes, but everything else just has to go. Like this poor custom, everything went wrong for her. But you know, when you first start customizing dolls, you're going to have some flops. And this was my first and I can't wait to bring her back to life someday. I just, I really messed up this poor doll and I feel really bad because she was actually fine. Like even with the hair issues, I was like, she's fine. But then I decided to try to 
take off her makeup and that just caused a disaster like you can see all this black stuff you're seeing is from taking off the makeup and i can't mess i don't know unless you're going to do like a full removal of the makeup i highly recommend you don't do what i did because this might happen um also i don't think ruby should have been minty or sorry <laughs> she's not minty she's based off of minty from my little pony I don't think I should have used Ruby as the base for this doll because the makeup was just all wrong and that's why I tried to take it off and then also the, the eyebrow color just does not work. All right so the next doll is a bit unsettling so I'm sorry this is Bella and I told you guys earlier that I took Bella's eyes for a crystal custom and I'm gonna customize this Bella I just haven't really decided Ooh, wait this would work. <laughs> I could make this into my new um, Lena doll I don't know but um, this this is a Bella doll I'm gonna be customizing her. Um, she is the original release of Bella, so she's super sweaty looking, um, but she'll be customized. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do, but this is what a rainbow high looks like when she doesn't have eyes, um, and she was also displayed in my closet playset before I stole her eyeballs. <laughs> and then here is a cheer Skylar doll. I took her, like, cheer markings off, and she was wearing the winter break outfit but I was making outfits and I wanted to use her as, like, a model for the outfits, so that's why she's wearing this skirt. Which didn't turn out super good, but I was just practicing, so that's what's going on with her. So pretty. This is the best Skylar, in my opinion. She's so beautiful. Next, we have Cheer Ruby, and she is she's just perfect. She was just a double of Cheer Ruby that I have, and I want to remove the Cheer paint, but I don't... I know, like, don't comment how to paint blush on dolls. I know. I've just never done it before, and I'm nervous about it, but Lena could sacrifice because I could scrub off all the paint on this doll and then practice doing blush so that I can take off that marking because if you look, she doesn't have blush underneath that marking. So it's kind of unfortunate. And if I were to take off the marking, the blush would come off anyway. So before I remove that marking, I need to figure out how to do the blush. And that's the only reason I haven't done it yet. So yeah, she's just basically a double of Ruby for now. Next is my absolute disaster Amaya doll. I should have left this doll in box. I just, I wanted to redress her, but I didn't know she had this mark. Um, and this outfit is, like, actually heinous. It's just that I wanted to- I didn't put this outfit together thinking it would be good for her or anything, I promise. I was just trying to show off the different outfits that came with the closet, and this was a double that I happened to have. That's really all that happened here. But this is, like, disgusting outfit. So bad for her, but she's really pretty. I really want to do a custom of Amaya with, like, really pastel pretty, like, light purple colors and stuff to draw from the makeup. Um, so that's probably what's gonna happen with her, and she will have to have bangs, probably, because that marked. Next we have my extra Avery doll and her bangs got messed up because she was in here but this is my second Avery that has the pink wig and I bought her on Mercari as well so I didn't have to pay full price for her thankfully because she was expensive. Um but yeah just another Avery. She used to be on display as her own like character but I never named her or anything it's just because she had a dark pink hair um so she worked in my rainbow but since I don't do the rainbow anymore I don't have a spot for her. Next is a second release Sunny doll. Second release Sunny just has a different... When I say second release, I'm not saying like series two. I'm saying that series one had a re-release that had a different makeup and they're less shiny. Um, and the biggest thing you can see is that they don't... They have these lines and these original ones don't... Mostly don't. Um, and she used to be wearing a different outfit, but as you can see, I stole a piece of it. <laughs> um, but she's cute. Uh, oh, no, never mind. She was winter break second outfit, but I like altered it quite a bit. And it was ugly, so I just took her off the display. But I'll figure it out. Because Winter Break Sunny, I like her, but her outfits do not do it for me. So, yeah, just an extra Sunny. I was planning to do twin Sunny customs, so that's why there's another winter, or there's another second release Sunny here. Um, but now I just kind of want to keep a second release Sunny because I love them so much, and they're not in stores anymore. Um, and it's kind of hard to find someone selling them specifically because nobody will mark them by name. Um, I mean, by name being, like, second release, but it's fine. Um, she's really cute. And she's wearing this bustier that I made. This was, like, the first or second one that I made, so that's why it's kind of bad, like, uneven. But I was just practicing. Yeah. Cute. I really love this doll. She's one of my all-time favorites. Like, if I were to rank my favorite Rainbow High dolls and not based off of, like, character... Because, you know, when I'm when I'm saying Series 1 Sunny, I don't mean these. I mean the original release, you know. If I were to do a variance favorites list, these would be high up there. I love, love, love these. But you see how different these two actually are? It's so interesting. Rainbow High dolls differ so much. That's why I kind of like having doubles because there's so much variation you can get. Here is Cheer Jade and she is on Bella's body, I think, or something like a... No, she's on a Winter Break Violet's body. That's what happened here. 
Um, so she has the articulated neck, but it's not her articulated neck. And she actually has really, really different makeup from my other Cheer Jade, so it's kind of fun. And I got her on Mercari as well. And I haven't redressed her or taken off her makeup yet. I haven't done anything with her, but I will. She was just an extra that came with a lot that I bought from Holly and Laurel. Um, and then lastly, we have an extra of Series 1 Skylar. I don't think this is the second release one. I think this is a later release, but she's not the articulated neck one. I never could find a Skylar during the clearance of the second release dolls, so I never got her, and I really regret it because now I can't really document what the second release one looked like, which is really annoying to me. Um, but she's really cute. Um, and I got her on Amazon on clearance, and I really like her. All right, so that's it for this video. I wanted to let you guys know that I have 83 Rainbow High dolls. Oh. 84. And if you count my two rainbow surprise dolls that I didn't show in this video, that's 86. So I'm going to say I have 86 rainbow high dolls, which is a lot. <laughs> I think I'm going to hit 100 this year probably, which is alarming. Um, but I absolutely love these dolls, so I'm very happy to collect them. And I, when, when none are releasing, because sometimes there's a lull between releases, that hasn't happened lately, but there were a few, like, six month period where we didn't, six month periods where we didn't really get any new dolls. And those are the times that I bought all the doubles. So that's why if you look or if you pay attention, like, most of my doubles were in that Series 1, Series 2 range, and that's just because that's when there was a big lull, so that's when I was making customs and stuff, so I bought a bunch of extras while they were on sale so that I could use them for customs in the future, so that's why I have so many of them. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'd love to know how many you have and what your favorite, I guess I'll say collection in this one is, because I ask who your favorite Rainbow Hide All is in the collection videos. I think my favorite overall collection is probably Series 3, but it's between Series 3 and Pacific Coast. I really, really like those two. I think they're really well done. And I think Rainbow High has truly, like, really come together into a really, really strong doll line now. Because there were some issues at the beginning that they've been working out. And I just, I love these dolls. And I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to collect them. And they make me really happy. So I hope that this video has been fun for you. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time.